And here's a topic I don't think we talk enough about. Kids who are in foster care. Children who, for whatever reason, can't live safely with their own parents and become wards of the state. That is tragic enough by itself. But then there's the question of where those kids stay. Now, I always thought that they were placed with foster care families, but that does not always happen. A federal judge this week said he's lost his faith in Oregon's foster care leaders to stop putting kids in hotel rooms instead of with families. So we appointed an expert to help the state get it right. The Associated Press reports that since 2018, Oregon taxpayers have spent more than $25 million housing 462 kids in foster care in hotels. That's an astounding number because the state had promised to stop the practice back in 2018 after settling a lawsuit over the policy. So the number of foster care kids in hotels now, well, that should be zero. That made me wonder how many kids are in foster care in Oregon. I found this graphic put out by the Oregon Department of Human Services. It shows the number as of the end of June of 2023. The yellow line there is the total number of kids in foster care. It's about 4,775. If you look to the left, you can see the number was much higher in 2018 by about 3,000 children. So that seems to be a promising trend, I hope. But sticking kids in hotel rooms, not promising. The AP reports in the first six months of this year, 75 kids ranging in age from six to 19 years old were placed in hotels. 20 of those kids lived in a hotel more than 60 days, two months. Now, as you might expect, that's not great for the kids. An attorney for one of the groups which sued Oregon back in 2016 to force them to stop doing this said this is incredibly harmful for these kids. They are spending months and months in hotels with a rotating cast of caregivers, all the while getting the message that they are unwanted and can't do well with a regular family, and they are different and unlovable. It really affects their mental health in the long term. For its part, the state has said they struggle to find adequate places for foster kids because of a lack of room in foster homes and residential treatment centers. But federal judge Michael McShane is clearly out of patience with that line of talk. He wrote, this argument has become nothing more than a stale mantra, and the court has lost faith in ODHS's ability to end this entrenched policy on its own. The judge appointed Marty Meyer to oversee the Department of Human Services and fix the hotel issue. She's a juvenile justice consultant with a Ph.D. in clinical community psychology from Yale University. By the way, about that federal judge, Michael McShane, his name may sound a little bit familiar to you, and it should. He's the same judge who earlier this week found the state Senate leaders in Oregon violated Brian Boquist's First Amendment rights after Boquist, a state senator, made some strong statements before a walkout in 2019. Judge McShane gave the state a verbal lashing in that case as well.